hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at a new extension for the browsers which lets you run large language models locally with the help of any open ai compatible api endpoints such as olama and lm studio and few others you can even build your own application around it this extension or add-on for firefox is quite nifty very lightweight open source you can even install it manually by following few of the commands which they have shared on their github repo and i will drop the link to it with video description another cool thing is that it lets you not only chat with llm but you can also chat with the web page it provides you a web ui it works with a lot of browsers like chrome brave firefox vivaldi and sidebar also works in edge librivolv zen browser and then a couple of others like opera and arc for the local AI providers, at the moment it supports Olama. You can even use Chrome AI or Gemini Nano plus any OpenAI compatible endpoint like Llama File, LM Studio, as I mentioned earlier. They already have added Firefox support and it's a very active project. So a lot of other things are on the uh, horizon and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So what I will be doing, I will be showing you its integration and installation locally and I will be using Olama as a backend. If you don't know what Olama is, please search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on Olama and you should be able to install and run Olama in no time by watching those videos. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. So I already have this Olama running and I have a couple of large language models running there like Llama 3.2 and Granite 3 from IBM which has just been released and I have covered it on the channel. Very good model by the way. If you're interested, please do check it out. So my Olama is all good and running. So let me go to my Chrome browser and from there, let's try to install it. So I'm going to the GitHub repo of this page assist. Scroll down and you see that Either you could get Firefox add-on or Chrome's extension from the web store of Chrome. So I've clicked there and then click on add to Chrome, add extension. And from there it has, it will show you that it has been added there. So you see here at the top right, you can check it out. And once you click there, it is going to open a new page where it is going to show you that Olama is running. Let me make it a bit bigger. And I don't use it that often, so I think I would just quickly see if I can change the mode to the dark one, what exactly it is using at the moment. Let me change it to the dark. Okay, so it's not changing the theme, but instead of wasting time there, I have just um, made the screen bigger. So you see that it has detected the Olama automatically on my local system, which is correct. And then you see that you can select the model, which I just showed you on my terminal. Maybe we can go with this one or let's go with Granite 3. It's quite a good model. And then you can set up your own prompt if you already have saved anything. And then you can talk with it. You can it support speech to text if your model supports it, of course. And then you can even if it's a vision model, you can upload them. This model is not vision, so I'm not going to do that. So you can just start chatting with it. So what is happiness? It is going to talk to your local model here. And there you go. So it is quite quick, quite nice. That is fine. And then I believe that there are a lot of other uh, things which you can do like current chat model setting. If you click there, you can set your some of the hyper parameters like randomness of the response, seat, context value, how much um, context you want, and then more model settings around top P, top K. How many if you have multiple gpus you can even select the gpu which you want if you click on x here and then there are a few other settings which you can set like you can do even a rag setting here which is quite interesting so i already have nomic embed by the way so i can select my rag one this is my um, chunk size you can even so you would have to save it by the way sorry so you have to save it and then you can even set your rag prompt where you can upload your own document and talk with it Plus you can manage the models 
and then so these are my model you can even delete it from here but i'm not going to do it this is a knowledge base so you can even add new knowledge for example you click on add new knowledge and you just click here you just go here and then maybe select any file of yours so i just selected my own file i'll just say and give it any name and then submit so it is now chunking it and then creating a vector or numerical representation on top of it and you see that it has already done it which is great this is what you it was showing you earlier around prompt you can create a new prompt like you say add a new prompt you can say my prompt and you can say you are you know you just say you are einstein something like that and then add the prompt and then you can select it from the chat there are a lot of other things which you can do which is quite cool you can even set olama's own setting for example if you your olama is not running on local host and it is running on some um, other than default port you can set it here and then there are a few models which you can select for globally for all chats if you like and then there are more model setting the same one which i showed you earlier and then you can go back from here how good is that now as soon as you set it you see the knowledge icon has appeared so you just select it from here you just select this and then you can ask it who is Fahad Mirza there you go so Fahad Mirza you popular youtuber and all that stuff and then it is also showing you citations my own local fahad.txt file how good is that so really very impressive very very impressive i would say and another cool thing is that you can even talk with your web pages in a sidebar for sidebar you can just go to this extension again click on it and then here page assist and open site panel and you can just click this chat with current page and then talk with it so this is my own blog bahadmirza.com so i'm chatting with it so i'm asking what this blog is about the center there you go so it is telling us about what is happening and citation is telling you where it has received its information and you can chat with any blog of your choice you can expand it if you like so pretty nifty i would say so all in all good stuff here and before I leave you, also let me allow you to the sponsor of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is um, a tool which turns any web page into the data source. It is quite resilient, it is quite reusable, and it is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.